Hey there YouTubers, alright, doing a BIOS update video. We've done a lot of those on this channel. Uh, I've got like 10 10th gen motherboard, so we're adding this one to it. This is the ASRock B460M-ITX slash AC. And in the upper left you see the BIOS version. It's 1.10. Uh, at least that's what, you know, when we go to ASRock's website, we'll hopefully see 1.20, 1.30, and uh, those would be the ones that we're going after. Now, before we start, there are dangers involved with doing a BIOS update. You could break your motherboard. Um, you know, some things that worked beforehand might not actually work. Uh, you would think that when you do this that everything would be on the positive side, right? That doesn't always happen. Um, and then there will be other issues that can happen. One, your boot priority will get... Uh, could get reset. Um, I've had a PCI Express slot that no longer uh, could be recognized, uh, no matter what graphics card I put in there. And uh, sometimes things happen with the drives. Uh, I've had Windows no longer work uh, on a drive that was working fine till uh, before I did the update. So realize there are some problems that can occur. Uh, they're very uh, you know, slim chance of those happening, but they do happen. Uh, and realize also that you may have your own troubleshooting to do to, to fix some of the minor ones. All right, so let's look at uh, my screen here. And we will temporarily kill that guy. So we're going to go, uh, I'm going to put Google in here. I guess I could have just searched from there. So we want the uh, B460M ITX AC. And there it is. Okay, so first thing to do really is just verify that is my freaking motherboard. Okay, there's no doubt that is the one. But you at home need to make sure that you, uh, you do that. Now... I don't necessarily, couldn't necessarily tell you that the BIOS, if you grab one from the wrong uh, laptop, not laptop, <laughs> if you grab the wrong BIOS uh, from a different motherboard, that it would actually install. But, uh, you know, potentially things happen. So uh, get the right one. All right. So on this screen, uh, there should be another support further down. Oops. And my laptop's going to act up, right? We want to click here, okay? Then you'll see BIOS. Uh, this is also the place that you'd go to check to see RAM compatibility. It'd be under there, SSDs, and CPUs. So uh, before we get into this, this is a thing worth looking at. i5, i9-10-850K just came out. And it's only compatible if you have BIOS 1.30 or P1.30, okay? All the other CPUs will work fine. Now, uh, none of the others really have any of those notes on here, but uh, trust me, they might one day update those. So let's go to BIOS. Now, this one has two different versions that you can do, all right? You've got the uh, the Windows version and the InstaFlash. Uh, if you want to see the InstaFlash way, excuse me, the Windows version, I've done that previously for the ASRock Z490M-ITX slash AC. Uh, so you can check out that video uh, as soon as I upload it. Now in this case, though, we are doing, we're going to do the uh, InstaFlash. And... Sometimes there's there's better notes. There's really, you know, kind of weak notes here. Um, there's a beta BIOS over here. Gosh, you know, I never do these beta ones. Um, I'm going to do the beta. Screw it. You know, this is this one. I just got this motherboard from Amazon. If this gets wrecked, I'm sending it back anyway. So um, we'll do the uh, this one. Now, if you want directions and you don't like my video, you can just click right here, and it'll pull up a PDF, right? We're going to go over here, click on Global. 
I would recommend for the most of you for most of you to go with the tried and true um, 1.40 up here, okay? But me, this this is me right here, gamers, overclocker, PC enthusiast. So I'm gonna grab that one. Now, um, so you see down here, depending on what version of uh, uh, <coughs> what internet browser you're using, you may get something like this one does. This is Edge. I'm going to say show in folder and it put it in my download. So I'm going to copy, cut this out and carry it over to my thumb drive, which I thought was going to be empty and it appears it's not. So you see all the gaming videos I've done on the different computers that are on this thumb drive. Now here's the file. We're going to right mouse click and do an extract all. And that'll create a, another folder. Now you see this one file. You could take this, if you had nothing else on the thumb drive, you could take this file and cut it out of here and put it um, so that it's right underneath the E drive and not under another folder. But we're going to leave it here, okay? So this is ready to go. Um, so I'm going to switch over back over to the other computer. And then I think I'll kill the webcam too. All right. So we pulled out the thumb drive and I'm going to put it in the other computer. Now, a lot of times I recommend putting those thumb drives in, um, one of the USBs that is actually um, on the motherboard, not in the case. Uh, sometimes you'll find that in this BIOS it will not recognize that USB, but uh, in this case I actually use the one in the case. So let's see if we can find it. Now, when you first boot up BIOS, um, which we have here, you're going to hit the, uh, the, well, as you first turn on your computer, you're going to hit delete or F2 that's going to get you into the BIOS, okay? And when you're first into the BIOS, you'll be in easy mode. And in this case, uh, there's a couple places to find the BIOS update. One is right here, and we're going to use this in a second. Uh, the other, if you were to click on Advanced, and then Tools, there is uh, instant flash there, okay? So we're going to go back, though, because uh, obviously the fastest way would be to just click here on instant flash. So we're going to do that. Now, uh, the reason, another reason for doing, showing you the one uh, that's done through BIOS, I don't have a hard drive hooked up yet, okay? I don't have a solid state drive. I don't have, you know, NVMe M.2 solid state. So that's why we're going with this, okay? Now you see, uh, I clicked on it. It found our uh, USB drive as well as the file right there. It was that quick. Um, it's not always going to work that quick, but in this case, it did work pretty quick. So I'm going to click uh, Update. And when I say it, it doesn't always work that quick. If you have multiple drives on here, um, potentially you may have to select the actual drive first. All right, so I'm going to click update. And once I do this, I'm going to step away from the computer. Well, one more step. All right, do you want to update? So they give you a reminder. Once I click yes, I'm going to step away. I don't want to touch the computer at this point, okay? Now, After pressing enter. So there's like one more time that you've got to hit this. So we could hit enter or OK. And now it is, uh, it's doing its thing, folks, rebooting. So, you know, a lot of videos, I will fast forward this kind of stuff. I'm going to leave, leave this thing recording. Uh, let you guys, you know, basically see what happens. 
Uh, you could probably fast forward this for at least a minute or two, but I'm going to let it record all the way through. All right, folks, so we're back. Uh, one comment here is uh, ignore my CPU temperature. I have a little issue with uh, this Cooler Master compatibility with this one. So normally your uh, temps with the CPU would be in the lower 30s, but I went ahead and did this video um, before I fixed that problem. So there you have it, though. Um, we have P1.40 Alpha. On here now I've previously done a BIOS uh, update video and uh, you know if there's anything actually different in here uh, I'd be surprised this screen looks uh, the same I'm gonna crank up my fan to offset the uh, the fact that there is an issue um, so everything in here looks the same folks now this so things that happen that are different I had my XMP profile set to uh, profile two. It reset it to auto. So if you are running, um, if you happen to have RAM, let's say it's 2133 megahertz and you um, have actually OC'd it up to, uh, I don't know if you can do 2666, but 2933 is usually a possibility for that one that uh, you, know, you would have to go back and uh, redo it. So if we go over to the advanced tab, if I can get my mouse over there, this looks, uh, you know, the same. Um, one thing I'm I'm curious about is if they change this. It would really really awesome if they would allow you to actually overclock RAM above 2666 in here and no so this ram i have in here is 3000 megahertz in most computers um, <laughs> but in this motherboard and and much of the other b460 h470s h410s it's limited to 2666 or 2933 with a uh with an i7 or i9 so there you go folks uh really no differences in here. Uh, hardware compatibility is different, but thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.